So me and Stefano have spontaneously purchased tickets to go to some show at the Yellow Crane Tower in Wuhan. We don't know what it entails, but we're just going to enjoy the moment. I got some exciting news for you, y'all. Today, I am leaving the temple. Due to having to start thinking about heading back, as Torah is, you know, now only got nine weeks left and is needing my assistant in certain ways, which is understandable. And it's only right for me to make sure that I'm present at this later stage of her pregnancy journey. So, with that being said, I've got one week left in China, tomorrow. <laughs> and I had to sit and think about how I would like to spend that last week being here. Now, coming to China, training the Shaolin Warrior Month was a big goal of mine. <clears throat> but there were other things on the bucket list also. So, over the next eight days, I will be spending my time ticking certain things off of the bucket list. Very excited for this. A little bit nervous as well because it's kind of like stepping outside of my comfort zone again. You know, ever since I've been in China, it's been a case of, you know, I've arrived, I landed in Wuhan, I got picked up in a taxi and I got brought straight here. And ever since, you know, I've been with other students, you know, I've had this sense of comfort and familiarity and, that's really enabled me to feel comfortable in navigating through this life in China. Whereas now, albeit I'm gonna be getting a taxi into Wuhan and staying there for the night with another student who's leaving China tomorrow, and then from there onwards, I'm flying solo, y'all. Flying solo. So, yeah, there's definitely nerves there around the idea of just being alone in China and going to places that I'm not familiar with, that I haven't explored and I don't know what to expect but at the same time it's all character growth and yeah it's time to go and have a little adventure before I go home y'all so stay tuned and let's see what this adventure's got in store for us y'all come on let's get it
I have arrived at the hotel in Wuhan. A little bit of a distance from the train station, which is where I will be heading tomorrow. But um, yeah, I'm in a hotel. And that means that I have a comfy bed for the first time since being in China. So do you know what I'm gonna do? I mean, not as like bouncy as mattresses back at home, but still, I'm gonna head out shortly with Stefano, explore the surroundings a little bit and see what the area has to offer. Stefano have spontaneously purchased tickets to go to some show at the Yellow Crane Tower in Wuhan. We don't know what it entails, but we're just going to enjoy the moment. The vibe here is very nice. The locals are very shocked to see us in the area, but we're just going to embrace it, man. I know it's going to be worth it. Ah. Right, so we have made it back to the hotel after an absolutely incredible night out in Wuhan, visiting the Yellow Crane Tower. The show was just something to remember for a lifetime. We managed to get some food, walk around the streets. So yeah, such a enjoyable evening spent with my boy, Stefano. It was such, wow. <laughs> <laughs> he loved it, I loved it. He is heading home tomorrow. I am heading to the train station to the next step in my adventure. But of course, this is the end of this video. Until next time, you know it's nothing but peace, love and power. And I'm gonna catch you on the flip side. Ah, uh, yeah.